Hello everyone, again, or for the first time, if this is the first time you've watched one of my videos. Hope you're having a great day. Hope uh, God is active in your life and <clears throat> blessing you. It's just a blessing to be able to have another day. I hope you have that mindset. Another breath in my lungs. <sighs> Thank you, Father, for that one. That's the attitude that we should have. If we serve an all-knowing, omnipresent, all-powerful God, then the very breath we take, He allowed it. And if we say we believe that, are we living our lives as such? That God sees all and knows all and is in control of all. That, uh, that got me to thinking uh, as I was getting ready this morning after I read my morning devotion, I thought about a question that I ponder often in my classes, and I'll ponder with you, is that if we serve an all-knowing God, why is it necessary to pray? If God knows everything I need as his word says and as I believe then why should I pray about it? Why rehash what God already knows? Well I would argue it's twofold that God has revealed to me through the discussion of why, why do I need to pray if God already knows my needs. The first thing that he revealed to me is your prayer shouldn't be all about your needs and all about the needs of others. <clears throat> yes, God knows your needs and he wants to address them and he wants you to ask him to be present in those. But that's not, shouldn't be the main focus of my prayer life. It's not to just go and tell God what I need. He's not a vending machine. But a lot of times, if we're not careful, our prayer life can consist of treating the creator of the universe like our personal vending machine. And then we wonder why our candy bars keep getting stuck. You know, if you've ever bought much from a vending machine, I'm sure you've had that happen before. You put your money in and you push the button and the candy bar comes out and it's just kind of leaning over. Don't fall down. Makes you mad. You get mad about it. How many times do we treat God like that? And not necessarily that the candy bar didn't come out, but it wasn't the one I punched. That's the other part. You know, God works for his glory, not my glory. God's prayers and God's purpose for our life is to glorify him, not to glorify me. But I want to get mad, you know, well, I put my money in. Father, I put my money in and I punched E1, which was a Snickers bar, and you gave me a Butterfinger. That wasn't what I asked for. I wanted a Snickers. But that's, that happens. Most of the time, I would argue, that happens. All of the time, if I'm praying with me in mind or my own personal 
gain, then that happens. God doesn't give me what I pray for. God answers my prayer, but he answers it with something different. I know you wanted the Snickers, Kevin, but I gave you a Butterfinger because you're going to enjoy it more. You're not going to realize it now, but you will. And it takes time for that to sink in and for me to realize that, you know what, God, I'm glad you answered that prayer the way you did. Because you're right, it did work out better. Not that he needs me to tell him that he's right, but, you know, I, I need it for myself. And that's how our, that's how we grow spiritually, is through that. So, that's the first thing, is I would say that we focus too much on our needs in our prayer life. Because it is supposed to be our time of communication with God. And that can be any time. We can do that any time. Now, I would encourage you to have a set time to do that. But you do that throughout the day. That's why Paul says in the book of Timothy, <clears throat> 2 Timothy, to pray without ceasing. Pray throughout your day. Talk to God. But more importantly, listen to God. Because if you want to talk, he wants to listen, but more importantly, he wants to talk back. So, that's the first reason we pray. Even though God knows everything, we still pray because we want to communicate. The second reason is that's how we access what God has for us. That's how we access it. I always give this example because it's one of the best ones I ever heard. You know, God is like an electrical circuit. The power, I'm going through by power lines right now, the power running through those lines. That's God's <clears throat> awesome power. The only way for me, if I want my light to come on in my living room, I have to go over there and flip the switch for that light to come on. The power's there. It's always there. It's right there behind the switch. It n never ceases to be there. Assuming the electrical grid's up, it never ceases to be there. There's always power at that switch. But in order for me to access it, I have to go over and flip it. I have to flip that switch. And when I flip that switch, the light comes on. I then have access to that power. That's what prayer is for. We access God's power through our prayer. It doesn't just happen. We have a role to play. We can't just hope and wish. You know, if I sit on the couch and hope and wish the lights would come on without actually going over there and flipping the switch on for the light to come on, it's never gonna come on. I can't hope and wish that the light would come on. I can't hope and wish that God would give me power in my life without prayer. I have to access that power and on the same thing I have to access those blessings now I want you to think about this every prayer that you've ever prayed or every prayer that you will ever pray God has already answered remember God is outside of time and space your future is his past so he knows every prayer you're ever going to pray and he's already answered them. He knows every blessing that he's ever going to bestow on you and it's already there. I give the example of, you know, 
all of these blessings that God wants for us. And again, it's not about blessing for me. Let's remember what a blessing is for. A blessing is to strengthen us so that we can bless others. You know, we use that a lot in life. You see it a lot, especially if you're on social media, as you wouldn't be watching this if you're not. Well, I'm so blessed, and we're so blessed. And Well, that's great. I'm glad you're blessed. But are you blessing others? God doesn't bless you so that it stops right there. You're to be a conduit of blessing. I am to be a conduit of blessing. It's to flow in and to flow right back out. It's not to flow in and stay and, Kevin, keep it. Oh, well, here you go, Kevin. I've blessed you and good for you. Good work. That's not, that's not what a blessing is for. <laughs> so, back to my point. All of these blessings, let's pretend like they're a treasure because that's what they are. And that God has them buried in your front yard. So that's the third reason that we pray. Is to access what God has for us. Not only his power, but the plans that he has for us. And those spiritual blessings. So he's got them buried in your front yard. And you've got to get a shovel and you've got to go out there and dig them up. That's what prayer does. It digs out those blessings out of your front yard. And here's the great part about it. Because of the all-powerful and all-knowing God that we serve, that hole's never going to go dry. If you keep digging, there's another one in there. You keep digging, there's another one in there. You can't dig deep enough in that hole of blessing that God has for you to run out. You, you won't ever run out. Ever. Ever. That ought to make, whoa! I'm just going to give a little shout on that one. You'll never run out. I will never run out. Praise the Lord for that. I hope you remember that today. I hope you have a strong prayer life. It can never be strong enough. Mine's not strong enough. It needs to be stronger. I was convicted as I was talking about a strong prayer life. So I hope you don't think these, I'm kind of selfish. These videos are for me just as much as they're for you most of the time. In that the word that God puts on my heart is obviously convicting at times but that's okay conviction's a good thing that helps me know that I belong to him hope you have a great day I hope you get your shovel out today get your shovel out and I'm going to get mine out we're going to go dig and see what we can find to glorify our father today God bless you I love you praying for you I hope you're praying for me